Good morning, guys. Two years in Florida, and I'm still not used to this humidity. But uh, today, I'm gonna do my cardio outdoor. Uh, I do this regularly, probably once or twice a week, instead of uh, in the gym bicycling. But this morning, I decided to do it outdoor because uh, normally I'm at the gym at four in the morning on Fridays. But uh, I have a chapter, or I have a final exam review in class. Hold on, let me wait until this truck passes. All right, so I have a final exam review today from 11 to 1 for my chem class. And I also have another opportunity to do the final exam review on Monday. So what I decided to do is do the final exam review for both days just to be uh, more well thoroughly prepared for uh, my final. Uh, I really want to get an A in the class. <laughs> but uh, realistically, you know, I'm fine with a B. I've been working my ass off uh, throughout this semester and hopefully it's gonna pay off but uh, yeah so today's gonna be a push workout what I'm gonna do is after this cardio I'll go home shower I'm gonna have a little pre-workout snack which I'll show you probably some oatmeal uh, something to uh, satisfy me for the two hours that I'm at the review and then from school I'm gonna go straight to the gym and film the pro push workout but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day, and I'll see you guys a little later on after this cardio. Now uh, here it is guys, this is what I'm gonna eat before I go to class. Now this is one serving of oatmeal, a half a serving Optimum Nutrition Cookies and Cream Whey, which I don't really use, I've had this tub for almost like a year. But I uh, decided to use it to get my protein up there. I put two servings of P2P powder peanut butter, uh, that's a serving of Walden Farms chocolate, bananas, and strawberries in there. So this is pretty, this is going to do me pretty well. It's going to hold me over till about two o'clock or one o'clock when I get to the gym, and then uh, we'll probably go somewhere for a post-workout meal. The texture is pretty good on this. All right, guys, just made it to the campus. Brain is feeling good, fired up, ready to uh, get this review in. Um, going to be real well prepared going into these exams so just really glad that this semester is coming to a close and I can finally relax for a couple days until summer semester because <laughs> I'm doing summer classes you know got to get it all done Alrighty guys so that went good um, we had a pretty packed class pretty well prepared for this although I am still gonna go to the second final review uh, good group anyways yeah, I'm feeling good right now. It's about one o'clock right now. So that uh, oatmeal lasted me pretty, uh, lasted me a good amount of time. Still feeling, feeling good. I'm gonna go online coach style and have some trolley eggs. <laughs> so I have a serving, which is about 26 pieces, about 32 grams of carbohydrates, 130 calories. So just some type of sugar, an excuse for me to eat some candy since I don't really eat candy too often just been kind of a on a sweet binge lately anyways athletic factor gonna go get into that push workout in and go kill it see you guys in the gym well today's a push day so nothing new um, on this day I uh, did my normal shoulder mobility before actually doing the overhead presses but uh, I was feeling pretty good so I put on was it 135, 45, 55, 65, 7, or 195? So I did five sets, three reps. I only showed you three sets of it. Didn't want to make this video too long. Lately, I've been trying to make the videos um, at least, you know, between the 10 to you know 15 minute range. Nothing more than that. I don't want them too long, just because uh, I don't know people tend to not like that. But you know, it, for me, it's more simpler keeping it in that time frame. So anyways, yeah, these um, shoulder presses were moving pretty fast, pretty good. Um, you know, the 5x3 worked for me. Then I moved on to floor presses, which is actually becoming a staple in my pressing, at least in my alternative pressing days. So on my first day, I do bench press. On the second day, I'm going to do some floor presses or some type of accessory movement that correlates to the bench press. But then also on this particular day, I actually threw in this dumbbell presses which I haven't really done and um, 
just wanted to keep things a little different instead of doing close grip bench press or something of that nature. Ended up doing these, and I did three sets, eight reps each, with a relatively not heavyweight but not lightweight. So some 85 pounds, kept it right there. Um, you can notice that what I'm doing is I'm keeping the my elbows pretty close in to kind of target the triceps. Just something different than just a regular dumbbell press. Also, um, this is actually the dumbbell press is which helped me in my bench press when I was bulking or at my heavier stage. So that's something I want to keep in my workout routine at least you know once a week or every other week, along with the slingshot work, which I use every other week. But uh, that goes on my bench press days. But yeah, so did some incline work with the dumbbells, something I don't usually do, but I did it with Raphael last week, so I decided to throw it in. Um, good contraction, you know, I still need to build that upper chest. Some shoulder raises like normal. Um, obviously, I'm going to hit some shoulders in on a pressing workout. Something I haven't done in a while are skull crushes. Skull crushes felt really good on this day, so I used progressive overload. Started off with a 25, then added a 5, then added a 10, then a 5 and a 10. Did three sets, three or four sets, not really sure. And then um, for 8 to 10 reps. I think the first couple of sets were 12 reps just to get the blood flowing in the triceps. And then um, the rest, as the weight progressively got heavier, I um, decreased this weight. So I then finished it off with a little bit of tricep extension or overhead tricep rope pushdowns. Um, I like these because you can get a different type of contraction as long as you pull the rope outwards. All right, guys, let's get out the gym. Seatbelt is on. Thank you guys for looking out. But uh, I'm definitely really hungry. It's about four o'clock, so I was in the gym for almost three hours filming. It's a pretty good workout, though. Um, didn't do any benching. Uh, floor presses, OHPs, OHP, I think, no, that's not a PR. But still, um, I didn't want to do go heavy, but I felt kind of good, so I think I hit, uh, what is it, 195, uh, five sets of three, which is which is relatively, was pretty heavy. So, um, anyways, yeah, I'm pretty taxed right now. I'm gonna go somewhere to eat. Now, I don't go somewhere to eat every single time. I just feel that you don't wanna see any boring food that I have made at home. I'm probably gonna make a pizza later on, but I will show you guys if I actually do do that. I got some ingredients for that yesterday to uh, make a little video about that. It'll be my first time, so stay tuned for that if I end up doing that. But what I'm gonna go eat is uh, some Mexican place. It's right next to the Starbucks I usually go to in the Coconut Creek Promenade. But uh, I wanted to go somewhere different. I think it's called like Baja Fre or no Baja Lime, something like that. But I've been there several times. Uh, I haven't been there in the past year though. But I've been there, um, you know, before. Anyways, that's what I wanted and that's what I'm going to get. So when I get there, I will show you guys what I get. Well, that's a Starbucks I usually go to. And then next door is, uh, oh, it's called Lime Fresh Mexican Grill. So this is the place I'm gonna go to. It's pretty nice. All right, guys, so this is what I ended up getting. This is a Mahi Mahi burrito. I have never had a Mahi Mahi burrito or I've had mahi mahi, but not in a burrito, so this should be pretty good. Um, has a pico de gallo, um, mahi mahi, obviously, um, tortilla strips, um, cilantro, and other stuff. <laughs> but this is going down right now, so I'm gonna eat this up and then see you guys a little later on. Guys, so that mahi mahi burrito was really good. First time trying it. Um, the only downside about it is the burrito was kind of small, but I feel satiated so I feel full maybe it's because I drank a lot of this too but um regardless that burrito is really good and I will definitely go back next time um does it compare to Chipotle it has a more authentic taste than Chipotle I think like a more Hispanic taste but overall it was really good so I'm gonna get out of here I gotta get in my car and my keys are in my pocket so I can't hold my phone and uh, open the door at the same time. All right, guys, gonna stop at Publix, gonna get some pepperonis for uh, the pizza I'm gonna make. Uh, also, gotta get some rice cakes, and um, uh, what, what else, what else, what I else? Swear. What else? I don't really know, but um, something else to kind of add to the pizzas. Oh yeah, cheese, fat-free cheese. That's what else I need. What cheese to get? I think we're gonna go with fat-free cheese. It's gonna be a macro-friendly pizza, so. Go. 
we're gonna get some um, sauce and I think I'm gonna go with this extra garlic stuff um, I have tomato sauce at home but I kind of want to get fancy with it so we're gonna go with I'm gonna go with this one right here see the macros on this 15 calories a serving probably do a couple servings of this so that's gonna go so finally found the pepperonis, but I don't know which one to get. We'll look for a macro-friendly one. We got turkey pepperoni. Um, ah, let's see. Let me pick one real quick. All right, guys. So we're gonna go with this one's turkey pepperoni, 70%. But the macros are pretty cool. So 70 calories, 16 slices for serving. Four grams of fat, nine grams of protein, one grams of carb. This is gonna work. Last but not least. Just gotta pick up a pack of rice cakes. We're running low on those. It's an essential for me. And that's gonna be a wrap. So I'm pretty excited about making this pizza. I've never really done this. So this should be pretty interesting. I hope it tastes bomb. So putting my time and effort into this pizza. All right guys, so <clears throat> here's gonna be some of the ingredients I'm gonna use. I'm using this flat out thin crust bread. I'm gonna use one of those which is 130 calories. Uh, you saw me pick that up. I got some fat-free cheese back there, some spinach. I'm gonna put some jalapenos in here. I got a um, couple tomatoes chopped up right here. Also, I'm gonna do those pepperonis. I have this preheating in the oven already. And I have about four ounces of chicken that I'm gonna add on top of that for the extra protein. So what do you guys think of this? First time making pizza ever. First bite. Alright guys, so that pizza did hit the spot. I can say that I can make a pizza. Not an omelet, but I can make a pizza for sure. Um, the macros, I'll have listed on the screen, but I think it was under 500 calories for the ingredients I used. Uh, four ounces of chicken, some pepperoni, some fat-free cheese, um, that salsa, or not the salsa, the tomato paste that you guys saw, and spinach and whatnot and what forth, and the bread. But today has been a good day. It was really productive for me. Got this video filmed. Um, I got work done for school. With, got some studying in. Um, just really happy that this semester is coming to a close, finally, to have a little mental break from all the uh, chaos with uh, my classes finally done with my science classes or at least chemistry I'm done with so that's knocked off I don't have to do any more chemistry classes and next weekend is the Europa that I'm for sure going to so I can't wait for that that's going to be a mental break for me so semester ends good to go to Europa meet everybody out there um, I know Nick Wright's going um, uh, Dave Palumbo or Devin Palumbo Beast Aesthetics um, I think Boston Lloyd's going too. There's a bunch of people that I really want to meet. Um, Jerry from uh, BioS3. Um, just a lot of people. So I'm pretty stoked about going that. And obviously I'm going to uh, vlog it. And um, yeah, so yeah, feeling good today. Feeling good. Feel like I got my mo I'm getting my mojo back. But um, yeah, so that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, I really do appreciate the uh, positive feedback. And um, just, just everything, you know. Anyways, uh, I will see you guys in the next video and hope you guys did enjoy.